For years, Alienware abandoned thin and light gaming laptops in favor of somewhat bigger computers with lower prices. All of that changed last year with the release of its X-Series laptops. With the new X14, Alienware's thinnest and lightest gaming laptop ever. The firm is pushing its quest for sleekness even further. To add to the excitement, the X14 is one of the first gaming laptops to feature Intel's newest 12th generation mobile CPUs. While the X14 isn't without flaws, the end effect is a computer that makes us wish Alienware had entered the portable gaming rig industry years ago. In today's video, we'll look at the unique characteristics of the Alienware X14 laptop. Before we begin, if you're new to our channel, please subscribe and click on the notification bell to be alerted of our latest videos. Let us begin. Firstly, let's take a look at the design. The X14 is unquestionably a stunning system sporting Alienware's Legend 2.0 design language, but you'll have to decide how much you like its sci-fi aesthetics. What is unquestionable is the laptop's thinness, which measures 0.57 inches thick and weighs slightly over 4 pounds. This is even slimmer and nearly a pound lighter than the X15, 0.63 inches and 5 pounds, making Alienware's more popular M15R7 appear bloated, 0.8 inches and 5.3 pounds. I'm not usually the sort to lust after a few ounces or tenths of an inch shaved off a gadget, but on the X14, every small decrease counts. That's because while most gaming laptops won't fit in my usual messenger bag, which isn't designed to hold anything larger than a 13-inch ultra-portable, the X14 does all bit just barely. That means I'm far more likely to bring this device with me on travels, which is kind of the whole idea of a thin and light gaming laptop. Don't get me wrong, I admire big 17-inch gaming rigs, but when the prospect of lugging one about makes my back pain, those systems frequently behave more like mobile PCs than any type of travel-friendly gaming machine. The biggest difference between the X14 and prior X-Series laptops is Alienware's new Dual Torque Hinge, which allows strength and stability to the laptop's display while lowering weight and thickness. The X14 also has configurable RGB lighting on its lid and keyboard as you'd expect from Alienware. However, as compared to its bigger brothers, it lacks the additional RGB light ring that would originally highlight the system's back ports. Fun fact, that pill-like form is known as a stadium. Inside, the X14's wrist rest has a wonderful soft touch surface, however, it may feel like a little snug for people with bigger hands. Another thing to take a look at is its display and sound. There's just one display option on the X14 and it's a nice one. The 144Hz 1920 x 1080 screen is adequately crisp and NVIDIA's G-Sync functionality helps reduce screen tearing when gaming. But it's the way the colors burst that really stand out to me. I almost confused the X14's display for an OLED's pattern at first. While its dark depths aren't quite deep enough for that color scheme, it seems rich and brilliant regardless of whether you're gaming or watching a movie, owing in part to support for Dolby Vision HDR. With a test of brightness of slightly around 400 nits, the X14 screen appears nice in both dark and bright environments, though trying to game outside in direct sunlight is still a challenge. Dolby technology is also accessible on the X14 speaker, owing to Dolby Atmos compatibility which adds on extra dimension to music by using extra height channels. Unfortunately, despite the fact that the X14's upward firing speakers are placed just beneath the laptop's keyboard, I found the audio to be a little distant. Even while the X14 has no trouble cranking up the volume, it's almost too much of a good thing. Since when the speakers are set at 80%, you can hear the X14's chassis tremble. Next is its performance. While the X14 isn't as powerful as its larger brothers and lacks the room for larger GPUs, Alienware's tiniest gaming laptop nevertheless punches well above its weight. It's a lot of AAA titles such as Halo Infinite. I was able to easily get 60 FPS on high settings, and you can push things even higher if you don't mind fiddling with the game's visual settings. And for those looking for a competitive advantage, maxing out the X14's 144Hz display in games like CSGO on lesser settings, which is what you'd usually use anyway, is a cinch. Despite the restricted area inside of cooling, Alienware's proprietary Element 31 thermal paste and vapor chamber available on PCs with RTX 3060 graphics performed a fantastic job of keeping throttling at distance. The X14's fans, on the other hand, are rather aggressive frequently spinning up as soon as you start a game and emitting a fairly high-pitched whine that you can't really escape until you put on some headphones. Thankfully, Alienware's command center program offers a variety of thermal modes, including a quiet setting to assist minimize fan noise, 
but this may cause your frame rate to drop somewhat depending on the game. Keyboard, touchpad, and ports. Trying to fit a full-size keyboard and media controls on a 14-inch laptop is always a problem. And while the X14 makes fair use of space overall, it isn't flawless. The function keys are half-sized, and the X14's keycaps are somewhat smaller than those found on Dell's non-gaming computers, such as the XPS 15. It's a similar story with the Windows key, the function button, and the shift key, which are all smaller than usual. And for those who frequently use the delete key, keep in mind that it's a touch too close to the laptop's power button for my comfort. On the other hand, I like the extra row of media control buttons on the right, which includes a rather handy mic mute button. In short, I wouldn't go so far as to claim that the X14's keyboard is a deal breaker. It simply takes a little more time to get used to. The touchpad is obviously on the tiny side, measuring 4.5 by 2.15 inches. On gaming laptops, however, a smaller touchpad is more acceptable because the greater majority of gamers prefer to use an external mouse, even while utilizing the laptop's built-in keyboard. Meanwhile, Alienware didn't spare on ports when it came to networking. The X14 has three USB-C ports, two of which support Thunderbolt 4. One USB 3.2 Type-A port, HDMI 2.1, a combination audio jack and a micro SD card slot. While I would have preferred an Ethernet jack, my only major complaint about the X14's ports is that they are placed in the rear. While putting all of the connections at the back of the machine helps to reduce clutter, twisting the laptop around to insert something like a thumb drive seems awkward, especially if you have any other peripherals plugged in. I wouldn't put too much stock in the X14's 720p webcam. It's adequate in a pinch. But the relatively low resolution paired with low image quality means you'll almost certainly want to utilize an external camera if you want to show your face when live streaming. Battery life and charging. The battery life of the X14 varies greatly depending on how you use it. If you're just surfing the web or watching videos, the X14's battery life won't last a whole workday. But it's more than adequate. The X14's lasted slightly under 8 hours on our local video rundown test. The main issue is that if you have any fantasies about gaming without a connection, you should put them aside right now. I discovered that after approximately an hour and 15 minutes of playing Teamfight Tactics, which isn't a demanding game, the X14 conked out. Having said that, I do commend Alienware for providing the X14 with a 130 watt USB-C power cord rather than a proprietary charger, and so many gaming laptops do that. Because the X14's power cable is USB-C, you can use it to charge other USB-C devices such as a phone or tablet, thereby lowering the amount of cables you need to bring with you when traveling. You can also use a universal USB PD charger instead, but make sure it has a necessary power output and an appropriate connector to fully charge the X14. Since many Dell systems can be sensitive about USB-C charging if you're using outdated or out-of-spec accessories. To summarize, the Alienware X14 is a 14-inch gaming laptop designed for mobility. A comparable configured X15 costs just $50 less than the 1800X14 with 16GB of RAM, 512GB SSD, and an RTX 3060. The biggest compromises are reduced thermal headroom, a more cramped keyboard, and a somewhat slower 144Hz screen. If you don't need a new gaming laptop right now, you should wait until some of Alienware's competitors produced improved systems for 2022. Thank you for taking the time to watch. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more upcoming tech gadgets reviews. Till next time, goodbye.